Okay, so in this video, we want to take a quick look at what happens to money invested at a fixed interest rate when it is moved forward and backward by one unit of time. So suppose that for a single unit of time, we can invest money at a 3% interest rate. And this is per some arbitrary unit of time. It could be a year, it could be a month, we don't know. But whatever it is, doesn't matter. So imagine that we have a timeline. And at some point in time, we have X dollars. The question is, under the possibility of investing X at 3% interest rate per unit of time, what happens to X when it is moved forward in time by one unit of time, and what happens to X when it is moved backward in time by the same unit of time? Let's look forward first. Well, what is an interest rate? Well, an interest rate means that over one period of time, while well, you gain back your capital, so X will remain as is, but you will gain to the original investment 3% of the investment. So 3% of X. Of course, we can factor X and write this simply as 1 plus 0 0.03 times x, which is quite simply 1.03 x. And so you see, if you invest money at a given point in time, and you can invest this amount of money over some time interval at 3% interest rate, well, once the period is over, the money x is now worth 1.03x. So always think of it as 1 times x gives you back the capital, plus 0.03 times x gives you back the interest earned on the original investment. So quite simply, if you move an investment x by one unit of time, it becomes 1.03x. Now what if we bring x back in time by one unit of time? Well, let's do it here. Suppose that we call this value y. Well, if we move x back in time by one unit, and we bring it back forward in time by one unit, it must be worth x again. So imagine y now being the value of x one unit backward in time. So if we bring back x, uh, y, forward in time by one unit, it will be worth x. But we know that if we take any investment and bring it forward in time by one unit at 3% interest rate, the new value will be 1.03 times the original value. So if y is the value here, being brought forward in time by one unit, y will be now worth 1.03 times y. And this is now what we want to be the value of x. So solving for y is quite simple. Divide across by 1.03. Therefore, y is x divided by 1.03. So this is the value of x dollars, but pushed backward in time by one unit. And that's it. And you see the result is rather elegant. Suppose that you can invest money over a unit of time at 3% interest rate. If you have an initial investment, if it is moved forward in time over one unit, the new value will be 1 plus the interest rate times the initial investment. If it is brought backward in time 
the value x will now be worth x divided by the exact same quantity, 1 plus the interest rate. So always remember that when you move an investment in time forward by one unit, it is multiplied by 1 plus the interest rate. If it is moved backward in time, it is divided by 1 plus the interest rate over, of course, the given unit of time. And that's it.